This is what the Boston Marathon's deadly explosions looked and sounded like from 100 yards away. But closer to the center of an IED explosion, experts say it's not the fire that's deadly, it's the 13,000 mile per hour shockwave. And you can actually disrupt uh, your heart from beating, uh, can collapse your lungs, uh, any numerous things uh, that can happen as that uh, blast wave travels through. Steve Cassidy has more than 17 years of experience disarming IEDs. Reports indicate the bombs that went off in Boston may have been made out of pressure cookers that were designed to shoot metal pieces into the crowd. Shrapnel such as ball bearings, nails, screws. Picture something say five, ten times bigger than a bullet but traveling five times faster. That shrapnel was part of the reason so many people suffered devastating injuries near the marathon finish line. People who have lost arms and legs, certainly traumatic injuries, you know, massive amounts of blood loss that are probably not going to be equal to anything that most people have seen uh, in the civilian world. Cassidy says the same science and understanding that goes into making IEDs is the key to finding those responsible. The forensics guys that are out there working and putting this stuff back together, you know, we're going to figure out who it was and hopefully we'll find them, you know, justice will be served.